Hello everyone and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So in this part of the series we are going to talk about functions. Actually we've used functions in our program like the analog read to read analog voltages or the pin mode to set the pin mode. But these are built-in functions. We can create our own functions that has a specific task. For example, we can create a function that makes our LED blinking. We can call it warning and it's going to be responsible for the warning. We could also create another function that convert a value between 0 and 1023 to a voltage. So in this video, we are going to make a project and in this project, we are going to connect the potentiometer. Then we are going to read the voltage. And if it's above 4, we will make a warning. So we are going to turn this LED on and off as a warning. First, we are going to code the program as we have done in the previous videos. Then I'm going to show you how to separate the program into smaller tasks or smaller functions. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So first of all, I'm going to use this potentiometer. And we've talked about potentiometers in the previous videos. First, let's connect it to the ground. For example, the left lead. And we need to go back from the right lead of the potentiometer to the 5 volts. Then we can read the voltage from the middle leg. And I'm going to use this wire. Let's go from the middle leg of the potentiometer to one of the analog pins like A0. Also, we are going to use this LED. And let's connect it to one of the digital pins like pin number 2. Make sure to add the ohm resistor to protect the LED. Then we are going to connect the longer leg of the LED to the other leg of the ohm resistor. And finally, we need to go back to the ground. Here we have these two GND pins. I'm going to use this one. So first of all, we are going to create the code without functions. Then I'm going to show you how to create your separate functions and use them in your code. First, we start by adding our variables like the read pin, which is A0, and the LED pin, we are using number 2. Then we can store the read value in another variable. I'm going to call it read value as well. So we've talked about this code in our previous videos. That's why I'm going faster. Then under the setup function, we use the pin mode. We give it our pin numbers like the read pin. Then we use this pin as an input. And let's add another pin mode. And this is called the built-in function. We give it the LED pin. Then output. Then under our loop function, we are going to add the logic to read the voltage and we are going to assign it to the read value using the analog read command we give it the read pin and it's gonna return a value between 0 and 1023 and we need to convert it to a voltage between 0 and 5 volts and to do that we need to add another variable I'm gonna call it V and to convert this value, we can use the rule of 3. If we multiply the read value by 5 over 1023, we can change this number to a value between 0 and 5 volts. But make sure that these are float. Then we can check if it's above 4 volts using if V. If it's greater than 4. In such case, we are going to make a simple warning by turning this LED on and off. And to do that, we use the digital write. We give it the LED pin. First, we are going to turn it on. Then we add a delay, like 200 milliseconds. Then we switch it off using digital write. 
LED pin and the low keyword to turn it off and we wait a bit again using delay 200 and that's going to make a simple warning when the voltage is above 4 volts so let's test our code so our LED is off and if we rotate the knob and as you can see it's uh, turning on and off like a warning that's because the voltage that we are reading from the potentiometer is greater than 4 volts and if it's less than 4 volts it is turned off so we want to create our own functions to make this code a little bit cleaner for example we can create a separate function that is responsible for the warning and to do that we add our functions down here under the loop function first we write the return type for example if we create a function that returns the voltage we can use float if it's returning an int we can write int but if it doesn't return anything in that case the type is void so void means nothing like in this case we are just turning our LED on and off then we write the name of the function like warning then we open and close these parentheses then under these curly braces we write the logic of the function so here we are turning our LED on and off so let's cut these lines of code and we are going to use them under this function now we can use it in our code like under this if statement we can call our function using the name which is warning then we open and close the parentheses now whenever the voltage is above 4 volts this function is called and it's going to execute these lines of code we can check that our code is still working by uploading it and let's turn this knob as you can see our LED is turning on and off because we've called this function which is called warning now let's create another function that returns the voltage and in this case it returns a float basically we are going to read the value from the potentiometer and convert it to a value between 0 and 5 volts then we can return it and to do that we can create our second function under the warning function first we write the return type which is a float then we give it a name I'm gonna call it get voltage we open and close these parentheses then we add the curly braces and under here we are going to create the logic of our function so I'm gonna copy these lines of code and in order to get the voltage first we need to read it from the read pin and we can assign it to the read value after that we need to calculate the voltage using this formula but to return this float we can use the keyword return just write return and this is a reserved keyword basically it's returning this value which is the voltage and whenever we call our function it's going to read from the read pin and return the voltage using this return keyword and let's use it up here under the loop function each time we can write the name of the function to call it which is get voltage but it returns a float which is our voltage we can assign it to the v variable using v equals get voltage now our code is a little bit smaller when you read it you can understand that first we are getting the voltage then we are checking if it's above 4 volts we are making a warning and that's one of the advantages of functions it makes our code cleaner so let's review it again basically a function is a piece of code that has a specific task like getting the voltage or making a warning and this is the syntax of a function first we write the return type which could be void if we are not returning anything also it could be a float if we want to return the voltage using the return keyword and I highly recommend you to use functions especially when the code gets more and more complicated so let's try it again and there you go we have our code and it's working so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below 
Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss my next videos when I release new one and I will see you in the next one.